Good evening. Criticism and concern tonight over a plan to allow a Nova Scotia company to burn tires for fuel. The province is giving the green light to a pilot project at the Lafarge cement plant in Brookfield. Joining us now with the details and reaction is the CBC's Michael Gorman. Michael. Well, Amy, approval for Lafarge, the, the approval that Lafarge received today brings them one step closer to being able to burn tires as fuel in their kiln. It also allows them to replace some of the coal they're currently using. The company won a tender granting them 30% of the tires the province diverts from landfills. They say this project, which is happening in partnership with Dalhousie University, will show what they're doing is both good for the environment and the company's bottom line. The approval requires emissions monitoring, a community liaison committee, and other conditions. Environment Minister Ian Rankin said it would be an, oversimplic an oversimplification to say the company is burning tires. But NDP leader Gary Burrell had a pretty different take. Here's a little bit of what each of them had to say today. It's diversion. So the, it's energy recovery that they're using the tires for. So it's not simply incineration. The tires are using uh, as uh, a replacement as the coal that they're currently using. So you see a reduction in carbon and other emissions. And we're taking the cautionary approach through this one one year pilot project. You know, essentially what's happening here, Lafarge has, has a uh, an emissions problem. The French has a cost problem. They're saying uh, to Nova Scotia, uh, "Look, uh, uh, we'll uh, we will improve our emissions. Uh, you just uh, let us uh, uh, put some dioxins and furans in the air." and uh, destroy uh, a world-class recycling tire program. And the Liberal government has said, "Yeah, that sounds good to us. Go ahead. Don't be so foolish." Another person critical of the decision today is the Ecology Action Center's Mark Butler. He noted the contrast of the government citing emission reductions as a reason for approving this project, yet not considering emissions when it approved a new coal mine in Cape Breton and the Alton Gas Project. All right, so Michael, earlier this week we heard from that company that recycles tires. Now, what are they saying today? That's right, they aren't happy about it. Since 2009, Halifax C&D Recycling has taken all of the tires in the province, as many as a million a year, and processed them to be used as aggregate for construction projects. This approval for Lafarge means 30% of those tires will now go to the cement plant. The company's vice president says, the bad, says that's bad news for his company and others. Seeing that they're going to be allowed to do a one-year pilot project is very disappointing for Halifax c and and it's, I think it's even more disappointing for the entire recycling industry in Nova Scotia. And Amy, Mike Chassie says he's concerned if the Lafarge project is successful, the company could try to get even more tires when the contract is up again for bidding. One other thing worth mentioning, because Lafarge will be paid to take and dispose the tires, they're in, in, in essence going to be getting a break on fuel thanks to Nova Scotians. Ian Rankin would not comment on whether or not that amounts to a subsidy. Amy? All right, thanks for that, Mike. That's the CBC's Michael Gorman live with our top story tonight. I'm Mark Gibson, an associate professor of civil and resource engineering at Dalhousie, has been studying the effects of burning tires for the last decade. He says this new plan for Lafarge isn't cause for concern. We know what uh, chemical species are in, in tires. We've done independent tests of tires and compared those with coal. Um, and there's a, there's a lot less mercury in tires, for example. So replacing coal with tires would, would really drastically re reduce the, the mercury content. Um, and then we're going to do testing uh, uh, before the tires are added, and then we'll do testing afterwards, and we'll be able to see if there's been any changes. So that's part of the um, uh, environmental assessment that, that will be done.